I started off in the 20th century, now I'm in the next one. Still rockin' fly shit, ain't tryna impress them. These niggas talk a lot of shit because I let them. But I could blow these niggas up, I could caress them. I mean, crush them, righteous, but I lust them. Niggas talk about me, they don't even discuss them. And it's disgusting how I put the shit together. Canvas with my Chuck Tellers, I don't ever rock the leather. These niggas gon' fall like a sudden drop in weather. They got a couple lyrics, but they just not as clever. I make the whole game pause like a rain delay. Pull my pen out, blow up like a hand grenade. They say I'm like an eagle gen, that straight tango ray. But you can never truly guess what a lame will say. Got them wildin' in the street like when the Phillies won. And ain't nobody smoking me, I'm like a Phillies blunt. Beef like a condom, they scared when they pop off. Treat you like a coupe, can't wait to chop your top off. They not Jays, little nigga, they are knockoffs. Marv Albert on them, all I do is shot call. Car shots, these niggas faking and small cops. Got a buzz, that shit spreading like the smallpox. They gave me the ball, they put the game in my hands. They said you the man to put the fans in the stand. That mean the pressure on, but I ain't got no hypertension. The guy that used to be your favorite, it's I hate to bench him. My ascension to the top, I feel it's predestined. You say this nigga ain't sick, you better retest him. I'ma stretch pussies out, y'all some C-sections. I ain't never ran, not even in elections. You only hard around your homies, gay erections. The game mine, I got my motherfucking name etched in. Got the street sign, the block monogram. Been fly so long, I ain't never trying to land. But fly since the dot peeped at my sonogram. I could pull a bitch if I was in a 40 Kano van. How you doing, J5? I'm surviving. My team going to the top and I'm driving. I peeped the game and saw a spot with my name on it. Wipe the track off, it's crazy how I came on it. So far, gotta look up in the stars for him. Like a high jump, must elevate your bars to win. So far, gotta look up in the stars for him. Like the high jump, must elevate your bars to win. That means they never gonna win. I'ma never let them catch up. <laughs> Every time they think they're getting close, I just pull off on them. Jet speed. They ain't even close, cause I'm way out of the stratosphere. Fuck a Facebook, I am updating my status here. Catch me on the block with my homies talking big shit. Cover up my face because the 35th district know me and they know my work. They know I be in beast mode. Know I play the game good like I know the cheat code. We used to be Negroes. Funny how we niggas now. And since we embrace that, funny how they dig us now. They want to ride with us now. I keep the door closed. Get them niggas out of here. Need that room for more hoes. Catch me at the dice game. Talking, throwing door blows. Taking all that mortgage money, making houses foreclosed. I don't reinvest that, I use it for more clothes. Keep the 4 4 though, more money means more woes. Now it's obvious I'm dedicated, I should be educated, but I never made it. And this race is for the fittest, call us racist, it don't fit us. We just hate them when they hate us. In the faces of these critics, they be saying, We too radical, we should just bling more, we should tone the hooks down, maybe we should sing more. I just tend to disagree. This should be the theme song for whoever grinding hard. Tell them haters dream more. They can never stop us, they can't even slow us down I ain't gotta tell them, really think these niggas know it now Real niggas hold us down, got a new motive now Mystery decoded now, enough lyrics to throw around Know how to kill a track and I been did it When I hit it, shit is kill, can't even let my friend hit it So far, gotta look up in the stars for him Like a high jump, let's elevate your bars to win So far, gotta look up in the stars for him Like a high jump, let's elevate your bars to win So far, gotta look up in the stars for him, like a high jump, let's elevate your bars to win. So far, gotta look up in the stars for him, like a high jump, let's elevate your bars to win. Live, J, uptown. <laughs>
gifted, extremely just organic MC. Doesn't have to pretend to be really hard, but you, you can feel a lot, a lot of the passion and the realness. He's been through his struggles, and it it, it, it just fucking man. He's he's dope, man. He's dope. He's dope. S54 boy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, I, I sent one through McGregor um, through your email. I don't know if you get it. Mike 104. What's up? Christian Lewis. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate the mini documentary. Big up. Your, your comments. I mean, I mean, appreciate your comments. Things are boxing. Big up beats. You probably heard the news about no the testing for Pat from Thurman. Not sure why people are changing their picks now or assuming it's only Puck writing for this one. Well, you make the point. Why, why is it just, um, why is this the attention of potential juicing just going to back out? Are we listening to Paulie Malinami too much? You make the point. You make a good point. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, you're right, Chris. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's Seja. Not, yeah, I know I got it wrong. Let me change that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And here's the thing. What are, are we saying basically that if Vada don't do testing, that there's something automatically wrong? Don't so what Vada had our God when it comes to thing? Pro, um, drug protocol, testing protocol, their God. I think they're using Nevada testing. See, before people go in like that, why don't you find out what what, what standards they use Nevada, Nevada, Nevada testing? Well, you know, at least give them a chance and hear them out, and, he, and and let's find out what they're doing first. You know, Nevada are not good. They're, they're capable of corruption. You know, they're capable of corruption as well. What, you think Vada have been above board on everything? Well, we'll hope so. We hope so. But yeah. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know what that means. I suppose we're getting very accustomed to see, seeing them um, through the testing for big fights. And now when it doesn't happen with one of the bigger fights of the year, we're like, oh, Suspect. Everyone suspect. Everybody is suspect. Okay, I think I've, I've got it right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm with you guys, but I'm going to watch the Jamal Charlo fight while we talk. But I haven't seen it. No decision if no volume. I don't know if McGregor got in yet. I'll, I'll send I'll send you one through here as well. That will mute you. I don't want to do that. Is this is there something wrong with your email, McGregor, man? There's something wrong with your email, bro. I don't know what it is. Something wrong with your email. Your email ain't working. The email's dodgy. Your dodgy email. Let me see if it works this time. Okay, all right. It looks like it. All right. It looked like that went through. It looks like that went through. All right. So now I, I do want to watch this Charlo fight. I, 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 I fell asleep on my own hangout, which is shameful. But <laughs> absolutely naked. I'm not a Charlo hater. I just don't like some of the... I know he's capable of fighting in better fights. He might not win all of them. I don't care if he don't either. I just want to see him compete. I don't care if you... I'm not going, oh, you're rubbish. He's not rubbish. He's not rubbish. But I need to see him fight. He should be fighting the very best. And the very best, right, for him, are on the app. They're not here. They're not over here. Who is this guy? What's this guy done? If this is a better fight than Andrade, even Harrison, is this, who would you rather see 
ch this Charlo fight, and I know he's 154, but he's a massive 154 pounder. Would you rather see this guy fight Harrison or Andrade? I'd rather see him fight Andrade. I don't care if Harrison's got the belt. I really, I really couldn't care less, to be honest. I'd rather see him fight Andrade. I thought he beat Harrison, to be honest. I thought he beat him. All right, this guy's letting his hands go. What kind of piece? Wide, isn't he? He's a bit wide, boy. Just call it, bro. Yo, you're shooting up your shit, bro. What the technique's awful. I'm not a coach or anything. Them shots are wide, bro. You threw some wide shots. And you got look, look, look at how wide, wide base his legs are. Mm -mm. You, yeah, he's waiting to time, time that weak backhand, boy, and hammer you with that right hand straight down the pipe. All right, I haven't seen it yet, so it's all new. Okay, it's teeing off. It's teeing off, though. It's teeing off. Teeing off. Teeing off. Little combination there to the body. that came up top. Charlo circling. Anti-clockwise. Against the southpaw. Oh, because the southpaw. He's a southpaw. All right, that's why. That's why. Okay. Good job by Charlo. He's awkward to fight though, this Coulter. He's not he's not very conventional. He's got a herky jerky sort of style. So it's not it's not easy to look good against, to be honest with you. To look polished against. He leans back on his back foot, looking like he wants to spring into action. Awkward. Is he Argentinian? Is he Argentinian people? Where's he from? Got a sort of Argentinian style. Looks a bit. Let's see if he's got an Argentinian chin. That means a good chin. Poor gay Coulter. All right. We're in round two. He's attacking. Bit of a clubbing shot there. Not really much on it. Okay. Charlo taking his time, looking for the openings. All right, the, the, the guy's got quick hands. He's got pretty quick hands, you know. Got pretty quick hands. Especially when he goes to the body. Charlo's out of range, man. Why is he so out of range? Just not like him. Okay, he's, he's getting it into the swing a little more there. Being a bit cautious. What's that, the defeat? Made him a bit cautious. Oh, uh, the guy's swinging, but good guard by Charlo. The guy, the guy's swinging, though. He's swinging. You can't block all of them. So when you put someone's frame that fast, you can't block all of them. You're not going to block all of them. Someone's going to get through. A good guard. Good guard. No, nonetheless, by Charlo. Okay. I went for the big right. Tied up inside on the ropes. All right, one minute, one minute to go. One minute to go, second. Ah. Is that unrivaled? Wagwan Beats, what's up, man? Yes. yes, yes. I'm watching Cello versus Kota. Kota. Oh, mate, look, I call that from a mile away, mate. This dude, he comes in, he squares up too much, he tries to throw lead with hooks and stuff, and I said he was going to get straight down the pipe and knocked out because he comes in too square. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bit too open for that. that, that that's what Charles was looking for. That's why he's not rushing in. He's just wait, yeah. waiting right down the pipe. Going to time his, that backhand. I've never heard of Kota. Is he is he ranked? Um, I don't know if he was ranked, but like I know that like Lubin beat the crap out of him. Oh, Lubin! Oh, is that the one he done the move against? I think so. Yeah, he bent, Erickson Lubin. When he bent his knees and, and then and then knocked him out. Is that the one? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> Man, he was doing the cliffhanger from Smooth Criminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, straight right down the pipe, bro. Oh. Nah, it's a good stoppage from Charlo. Another great ain't ranked, but it's still a good stoppage, you know? He's in all sorts of trouble, man. You're in all sorts. Oh, laid out. One punch KO Charlo. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel up that one, boy. I love that KO, man. I love that. I love that one. <laughs> On your back! On your back! <laughs> He's starfish, doesn't he? Look at him. <laughs> Woo! Damn, bro. Yo, look at his face, man. It's like Leah Holbitch against the yeah, world, isn't it? He's turning me to a vampire, bro! <laughs> Woo! Damn, bro! Shit, man. This is not... When I seen him down the first time beats and he got up, right? I nearly pissed myself when that next shot came in. I'm like, oh, he's fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> I need another look at that one, man. He right, faints to the body. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Good, good work by Charlo, you know? Actually, good work. Look, it's not a great opponent. It's not a great opponent. But it's a hell of a stoppage. Yeah, I'm just looking to see how he sets it up. Good jabs. Start the start of the third. Little but faint to the body. That opens him up. Bam. That that Ooh. like that straight shot off yeah. of the faint while the guy squares himself up. Stun him. Stun him more. Great misdirection. Good shit. Good, good shit, bro. Let's see this finish, man. Oh. He didn't see that punch coming. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't, bro. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's a knockout, bro. It's a proper knockout. Yeah. That's a contender. That and the Dorticus one is good shit, bro. I, I, think, uh, I don't think it's number two. I think it's number three that I've seen this year. Or maybe even number four. Because I think Liam Williams, his knockout over Mullinder on the Frank Warren card was unreal. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, uh, was, that was sick, yeah, yeah, that was sick. That also, was the sick. Nido Daenerys knockout over Young in the World Boxing Super Series is vicious yeah. off the left hook. Wow. Okay, it's but it's up there, it's a contender, it's a contender. Wow, he doesn't even know what's going on. Oh, she was a sitting target, bro. It's a sitting target. He put his hands up, but his feet didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his eyes. They're rolling back in the back of his head, man. Oh, fucking shit, bro. You couldn't do that in a film. You couldn't do oh, that in a film. Mate, he, he was... That's devastating, man. That's devastating. He was sent to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, he was, man. He was. Jorge Cota. Mm -mm. Not We've got stuff like that beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's, that's, uh, that's <laughs> Just great, curious. Great knockout. But yeah, he had the right opponent for it as well, man. Oh, he's Mexican. Austin. Austin GT said he's Mexican. Big up Del Boy. Yeah, he's Mexican. Credit to Rigo for Shane Hart. He came to bang it out. Rigo, boy. I tell you what, man. You know something? He's got a Yo, bad rap, though, hasn't he? They keep saying he's boring, but even before this, like, like, he's got this reputation of being this ultra hard guy to hit. Rigo gets hit a lot because he's fighting guys a lot bigger than him. Rigo gets hit quite a bit. Yeah? And he still comes back for more. The only fight he quit in was, was, was Loma. You know what I mean? Hell no, bro. Rigo's fucking whew. that that was a fuck that 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 was some shit, man. Rigo was very impressive, man. Rigo was very impressive to me. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen when he um steps up to championship level. Like, you know, it might be a bit 
you know? Yeah. Beats, are you able to hear me? I can hear. Okay, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure my mic didn't break. Do you think that stoppage was early? The Rigo stoppage? Very early. Horrible, horrible stoppage. Great shot. Great shot. Yeah. But he, what, he, the guy was still able to compete. Yeah, yeah, he, sh- he should have carried. I mean, he, he was ahead on point. How can you just take the fight away from him like that? It's like that, that's the first real shot that hurt him badly. Although he was getting messed up by that left. He took a lot of them left hands. But you can't just... Man, he he, he, he was way ahead on um, the punch stats. He landed way much more on the punch stats, right? I don't know what the score was going to tell yeah. And you just take the fight from well, the guy like that. It was, it was, it was a, bit, a bit crazy, to be honest with you. I only I gave Rigo one clear round and then one other round I had even. Other than that, the other guy had all the other rounds. I can't, can't even disagree. <laughs> Although I think Rigo was winning a few as, as the fight went on. I think he was getting, I mean, winning a few of them. But I think, the, the, yeah, the guy was in, the guy was winning. The guy was winning. Say Joe was winning. He was winning. He was whipping. He was whipping Rigondeaux's ass, man. <laughs> it was a good. It was a good little yeah. fight, actually. It's the most entertaining fight I've ever seen Rigo in. Yeah, Rigo, man, getting old. I'll be honest. The only reason that fight is the way it was, beats, is his legs are gone, like Larry. What he said beforehand that that's what he's good. I was speaking to my Cuban friend today, and he was like, "Fuck." He said, yeah, Rigo said that he's going to stand in front of this guy and bang it out and show everyone he can do it. You know what I mean? He was saying, do you think he can do it? Well, well my Cuban friend, he, he he doesn't want him to fight like that. He said, no, 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 go back. Go go, go back and do what, what we know you can do. You know? <laughs> he he wasn't impressed. Well, he was impressed because he was like, he, he, he don't want to see that kind of thing. Mm. He doesn't want to see it. Rigo's got Rigo's- back. Rigo, when did Rigo went over Japan and fought that big fucking guy? That was a thriller, right? Mm-hmm. That was a thriller. He's broke orbitals, jaw bones, and everything. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And he's 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 got an unfair rap. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, Rigo has got an unfair rap. Got a very unfair rap. About was that Amagashi, that Japanese lad? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If Dell's in the chat, Dell can say it was or not. Dell will not. Unfair. Not fair. He hasn't got he hasn't really um been given a, a fair crack, I would say, to be honest, you know. Uh, the, the, the can't, can't say he's boring. He's finding people a lot bigger. He, listen, he's not a super he's he should be at two eight, he should be at one eighteen. That guy yesterday was way bigger than him. Way bigger. Yeah. And I'll be honest, that guy is smaller than uh, Danny Roman. Right, exactly. exactly. And he's smaller than Navarrete as well. Yeah. Think of the size of Navarrete, the dude who beat up Dog Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a big lump. Imagine him next to Rigo. Yeah, he's a, big, he's a big lump. He's a big lump. He's a big lump. Let me watch Conor Benner again. I want to see if Conor, Conor Ben. Commands in the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the first. Okay, take the volume off. <laughs> Would help. All right, I like the. I see, I've seen this one already. I just want to watch it again. I just want to watch it again because, like, but man, people think bo- boxing not as easy as some people think. Oh, I kind of should have boxed more. If the guy's coming at you are like a mad, but you try and box someone who comes in like a fucking nut job. <laughs> the guy came in. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of him. He was trying to rough Connor up. Oh, this uh, UC Coivula against Connor Ben. Yeah, I thought the guy was going to beat him, to be honest. I thought he was going to beat him. The way he started that first round, mate, I was worried. Yeah. I thought he was going to beat well, him. Fair play to Connor, man. He got a good win there. That's not a bad fighter he was fighting against. That guy is a guy who's. Known to some of us, like he, he got a split decision loss against Sammy Vargas. He, he's fought against other okay fights like uh, Mamune and stuff like that. I like to see Connor take on Vargas or actually move down to 140. 
He looks like he could get down to one forty, man. I'd like to see him at one forty myself. I think he's too small at welter, and I'll be honest with you. I don't really like Josh Kelly that much, but I think Kelly would beat Connor. Looks too big for him, man. Looks too big for Connor. Yeah, exactly. Like Kelly had a struggle with Ray Robinson, right? And Ray Robinson isn't exactly like a world level guy as such, right? Connor couldn't beat um, Ray Robinson. Connor Ray Robinson will probably knock Connor Bennett. I don't think you'd knock him out. Well, he might be, you know. You might be right, you know. He whore Kelly, and he actually like he he, he also whore Kavalowskis, yeah, and right. Connor's been dropped by Paynard. Yeah. Who knocked out Kavalowskis? No, no, he didn't knock out Kavalowskis. He whore Kavalowskis. Ray Robinson did. Oh, he hurt him, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he whore him a few times. He snapped his neck back. He hit him with good body shots. Like he can, he can mind that. Like he doesn't have a lot. Not he also gave Ugas a tough time too. Let's see, you're using the forearm and everything. He got warned. He didn't care. He went to throw my guy out of his stride, man. He's coming to throw him out of his stride. I mean, arms us. He's bringing the arms us. That's see, he 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 hasn't come here to do no boxing match. Trying to rough him up. Trying to rough him up. Connor came with the jab to the trying to jab to the body now. Using his jab a bit more now, as he should do. Jab at the chest there and at the head. All right. The guy's tiring already, though. He's blowing already. He's, he's, I don't think he's very fit for this, you know. Got him, got him at probably short notice. He's blowing already. So even though he's trying that, see that, the, that, that, see that takes up a lot of energy as well, all them roughhouse tactics. See, that Sean Porter fight, it takes up a lot of... You need a lot of stamina to keep throwing someone mm -hmm. around. Takes up a lot of energy. Lactic acid. Got a counter in the inside there. <clears throat> Oof. Good shot by Connor. This is a good first round, boy. This is a good first round. Guy's big, man. He's a big lump, isn't he? With Tony mm -hmm. Sip. Handing out the instructions. All right, we're into the second. I want to see the knockout punch. Oh, he set it up pretty well. See, that's a good right hand by the the Kavalowskis, is what his name is. That's a good shot. Koivula. Okay. <laughs> I, I was close. Yours. I, I his name's Yossi Koivula. I got, I got the K, so... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's all that matters, mate. I ain't expecting you to get a finish name, right? I, I got the K, I got the K. He's really trying to rough up Connor, bro. I see... If, if this was in, in the guy's home country, this would have been a really difficult fight for Connor, but... All right, all right, that's why I reckon he fights. Really that's good. his first time fighting in England, Koivu. He's only fought outside of Finland six times total in his total oh, career. Right. Yeah. Okay. He's not rushing in so much in the second there. Wisely, kind of picking him off with a jab quite well. See, he's boxing now because the guy is not coming forward like a madman, so he's able to pop jabs on him. Could the guy stay in at range? Oh, wait for it. Oh, great counter. Great counter. Great counter by Connor. Let's have a look. Steam's in. Okay. Good feet by Connor. Oh, good feet. See, he hit him while he was moving. Connor was moving while he punched. He was shifting to his right, and as he steamed him, he caught him. Beautiful shot. Oh, shot. Very quick. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Well timed. Well timed. Nice footwork. Nice footwork, young Connor. All right. Lands the overhand rights. Oh, short, short left hook. Turns his back from the action. He looks like he's over for the night. That's quite, that's what I mean. Like, he's not a great opponent, to be honest. 
not a great opponent. The only thing he he's his best was... opponent today. Oh, you think he's better than Paynard? On paper, by far. Yeah. Paynard went into the corner fight six and three. Okay. He went in there like twenty. I think it was like twenty six and one or something like that. Having fought against like mid tier world level guys like Mamune and Samuel Vargas and getting a split decision loss against Vargas, like yeah, bad. And there you go. See, but the thing is though, I like seeing for see the you know what I like the fact that he said he's ready to fight Josh Kelly. And then see, Pete, you, you, you'd be damned if you do and damned if you don't. They complain of fighters, you know, playing. He said he said he wants to he, he fight. Well, let him fight him then. I like seeing him fight him. If he yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let him go. Let him go. Let's see how good Josh is. He's fighting another unbeaten fighter, ambitious. Let him go. And there's one thing. I have a question on Kelly, but I don't have this question on Connor. I think Kelly's more skilled, naturally, right? But here's the question I have on Kelly. It's heart. Because we've seen Ray Robinson change Kelly's mentality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Change his mentality. He stopped doing all that flashy shit toward, like, in the eighth round, mate. He really tried to stop that, and he put up a high guard. He was like, "Nah, I can't do this oh, yeah, anymore. The guard came up, bro. The guard came yeah, up. Oh, yeah. they came up, man. He was like, nah. He, <laughs> he changed his mentality. Connor has way more heart, in my opinion, because he's been on the ground and on the ground and on the ground with Paynard, and he got back up and he kept fighting the same way, going gusto for gusto. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that comes from his dad. Because oh, his yeah. dad was the same yeah. way. Yeah. And yeah. I see similar traits with his dad. I just, he, he needs, I think he's a little small at the weight and he's not as skilled, but he has the same warrior mentality as his dad. And that could, that could stand him in good stead against Kelly. It really could. Because when the going gets tough, who's going to get going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could do. It could get him killed as well. Because listen, man. I remember Ben, like, when, when he was come up fights, when he fought Anthony Logan, man. My God. Jesus Christ. Mind you, Ben. He nearly got yeah. killed. <laughs> but the, the, he, he came back, man. He was very, very um, defensively lapsed at that time, man. But yeah. Connor's the same. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he'll get away with it. I don't think How got... old is Connor, though? Connor's about 12. Tw I'm not even too sure. I'm not even too sure. These are good question. Chris Mateus, what's up, Chris? Binks, what's up? S54. Adrian Tate, what's up? Yes, modern day broadcast. Christian Lewis. Copy 09. He says, No Vada is old news. Thurman said it after the fight was announced. Yeah. S54. He says, Testing isn't free. People don't realize that. Yeah, but Pacquiao can afford testing S54. Come on, man. Pacquiao can afford testing. You know what I mean? But, um, yo, listen, uh, if, if they don't want to use Vada, I ain't going to be suspect of it. What, what, what? Vada turned into the Holy Grail? You know what I mean? Listen, they, they, they were doing testing before Vada. It wasn't good. It was probably just the urine shit. But, man, listen, man, not all fights are. What? I, I, not even 10% of the world's fights in general are tested by Vada. Not even 10% or 5 It's what? literally just the top tier guys ranked yeah. in the yeah. WBC. Yeah. Um, and let's put it like this. And this is me being very honest. Um, all of the other sanctioning bodies, they do have like USADA and stuff like that. And USADA and everything and WADA and all of those guys have yeah. caught more drug cheats in this sport in the last three years than Vada have. Okay, is that so? I didn't know that. They have in lower weight divisions. Yeah, okay. You see, people just know about the mainstream stuff because that's all Vada are doing is the mainstream stuff. Right. It's all well and good when you're yeah. just doing the mainstream stuff. But what about fighters who are fighting in the mid-tier, like when they're fighting in different areas and they're adhering to WADA and they're getting caught by all of the other, like in UCAD and they're getting caught by like the French yeah. boxing, anti-doping agency and all of these guys, like Yoke and like, is WADA catching all these guys too? No. 
You see what you say there is Vada it, didn't catch Fury for Nandrolone, did they? Who caught it? Was UCAD, yeah. It was UCAD. It was yeah, yeah. See, you make a great point there, right? See what 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 we wasn't must have fooled for is like you say, they're getting all the mainstream cases. They popped Canelo, didn't they? Yep. Right, you see, they're they're popping all and they, they pop Miller, right? They're popping all the mainstream guys, so it makes making them look it's giving them credibility beyond credibility. But like you said, I didn't even realize you saw that. The people were shitting on you saw when Floyd was using it. They were shitting. Were they were, were they shit, were they shitting on you saw that when they caught Lewis Ortiz against the Teeth Coyote? Right. I didn't oh see that they caught yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Koto and um Canelo used USADA when they fought. Uh, a few people, yeah, have used it, yeah. Yeah. Are they shitting on USADA when all of the, the when most of the UFCs, all most of the people in the UFC who've been caught on drugs, guess who caught them? Was it USADA? It was USADA. That oh, was the. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, just because you ha- this this is literally what uh, what's so special about uh, Vada, right? We know, we're we're told who's kind of signed up to Vada, yeah? Right. So you have to sign up to Vada to make your name clean, right? Yeah. But here's the thing. With USADA, you don't have to sign up. You have to. Man, look, man. You oh. just have to use it. It's not about signing up. You just have to. Well, that's that's what Miller, you know, he avoided the Vada programs twice, didn't he? He avoided it twice. I yeah. found out something about Miller that, that was very interesting. So when he was in Pride, yeah? Yeah. He was popped by USADA. Ah. It was USADA who popped Miller in Pride. However, as a pro boxer, when he was fighting most of his fights, he wasn't he wasn't streamlined by USADA. No. Or WADA. Yeah. He wasn't streamlined by any of them yeah, because most of them were on were unsanctioned fights, most of them, in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. First 12, 13 of his fights were unsanctioned pro fights. And then, then Jarrell Miller fought in sanctionized fights by sanctioned bodies. But they weren't for, they weren't like final eliminators or eliminators. So they weren't using USADA or VADA or WADA. So Jarrell Miller's first drug testing was for Anthony Joshua. And he right. failed. See, and we're giving him all that credit for all them performances. You know what I mean? He's been cheating all along. You know, you think he just started injecting shit up his ass just now? Now he's been cheating all along. And it's about I'm actually, I'm say- actually making a video on that beat. A okay. big long video on the history of like the drug stuff over the last five years and the comparison of Vada to Yasada and how many people have been caught. That should be interesting. I mean, that, that, that's that's what we need, man. It's some content like that. And I've he- I've heard they found a fourth substance or something with a Miller. There's a fourth, or that's what um, Dan Raphael was telling Eddie that it's actually four substances, not three, that they've caught him with. He re- fucking he's a fucking time waster, man. A time waster, Joker. I don't get that at all, man. Del Boy said he really enjoyed the Rigondeaux fight. I felt it could have. Been a good fight due to Rigo's legs not being what they were. He showed heart. Shame about the stoppage, which took away from the fight. The stoppage was shocking, man. The stoppage was shocking. Absolutely shocking. Copping online, he said, um, the testing is not free, but anyone involved in the fight can easily afford to pay it from the fighters. Yeah, of course. To the promoters, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Monday broadcast, I was angry about Sejar being stopped. Firstly, the man got up from a hell of a shot and gave him the opportunity to fight on. Yeah, he should have got the opportunity. To, of course he should have. Of course. How can a man, how can you see a man put up such a battle, right? Taking hard punches all the way throughout, not moaning, complaining, walking through them, still going, and he takes one shot and goes down. He gets back up, right? He nods to the referee, yeah, I want to go on. His forearms are up. Ready to get his the, the rosin cleaned off his glove, and you stop the fight. That's some garbage. His eyes weren't rolling in the back of his head or nothing. 
His Come legs on. were stable. Yeah, his legs were stable. Terrible. It was a dreadful He stuff. restabilized his legs. He stood up. He yeah. had his arms up. Like, he even pushed. If you watch, you'll see him do the old-fashioned, like, uh, gloves up into the chain and back down. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the old-fashioned one to say, I really know I'm okay. And he waved them off. I was actually furious. Yeah, I was furious at the stoppage, man. I, 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 that was a PBC stoppage. They were saving rigging down, basically. Yeah. And people people talk about UK stoppages. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> PB, yeah. mate, that is that's an Al Heyman stoppage. Right there. Yeah, it was, it was, it was. It was almost like I saw Al going up on the ring ropes to stop the fight. The way they did that one, man, it was it was, <laughs> it was dreadful. I'm gonna start looking to see if I see earpieces in these referees. Yeah, it's true, you know. I don't think they need earpieces. They've probably been instructed. Before the fight, if you see this guy, you know what I mean, and like you know, if 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 it's close on the rounds or whatever, and you see him in in a bit of bother, get him out of there. Get him out of there. It's sad, really, because yeah. it ruins this sport. Dreadful, man. Shocking. Shocking. Because who knows? Say he could have won that fight, but do you reckon he would have won on the judges' scorecards? No. I don't think so. No, you know, no, he won the one. If if you're gonna stop fights like that, you know, you know like listen, it, the, the credit do is a beautiful shot by Rigandow, man. But come on, man, you know the, the odds were against him, man. Against his now, Rigandow's the the mandatory for the WBC. Yes, he's fighting um, a Moroccan, isn't it? I think it's Ray Vargas is the name of the guy. Is it? Uh, let's see. Let me see. Let's one, see. two, two. I think it's Ray Vargas is the champion. I was my Cuban friend. He said it was a Moroccan guy. No, a super banter, man. We got the, we got that wrong, then. Got that wrong. Oh, it's Vargas. It is Ray Vargas. Yeah, it is Ray Vargas. Who are you thinking? I know. I I know my champions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. You know. You know your shit. Yeah. Ray Vargas, I think, is 33 and all with 22 knockouts, mate. Ah, you see, he kept going on, on to Bantamweight. He, he he was picking up Nordine Kobali. Oh, Nordine Kobali, yeah. He's a, he's the 118 champion. Is Nordine Moroccan? I think he is. I think he is. He's French. I think he, he he's he based in French, in France. But I think he's more French like Moroccan boxer, yep. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so he had the divisions wrong. No shame in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ray Vargas. That's interesting. We go have to be in better shape, man. If it's a better move, his feet. Yeah, he needs to move, man. He needs to move. Ray Vargas hits. He hits like a mofo, man. Gavin McDonald took his power off. That's true, you know. That is true. But he's not bad. Ray can box. Ray Vargas can box. Yeah, but can he bring that? He, like that that guy yesterday was bringing the heat to Rigandale. He wasn't boxing. He, he, he was kind of, like he was leaning into them uppercuts. He was w- willing to take them, man. He was trying to really get in and, and put some damage on Rigo. You know. Well, one thing about Ray Vargas, I think he might have a... Does he have a size advantage? Like, he's over Rigo? Way bigger. He's way bigger. Because I'm pretty sure he's like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, yeah. And he's got a 70-inch 70 a, a 70 reach, I think. 71-inch, something like that. Is so... That he's, reach? Bloody hell. Huh? He's got a 70-odd reach, inch reach. Yeah, either 70 or 71, mate. Bloody hell. Okay. I'll bring up Rigandale's box rack as well. Right, so Ray Vargas is five seven and a half with a seventy and a half inch reach. Wow. And yeah. Rigandale. Rig- Rigandale's Rigandale's got a big reach as well, about sixty nine. Or maybe seventy. Rigo's about sixty nine seventy. Got long reach. I do know that. He's got a very long reach. And Rigandale has a reach, according to BoxRec, of 68. So he's got a two and a half inch reach disadvantage. 
and yeah. he's five foot five, so two and a half inches shorter. He ain't five foot five. Yeah, Rigo, I don't think Rigo, Rigo, you know, he doesn't look, doesn't look that. Yeah, I think he's five four, man. In all honesty, mm. he's no bigger than Noah anyway. He's no bigger than Noah anyway. I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought so. I was watching um, Ted Cheeseman, man. He's he's took his second L. Well, no, it was a draw actually. Ted Cheeseman against that Kieran Connell. I had Cheeseman losing that fight. You had him losing. It it was close. Yeah, it was close, man. Tez Tez has got one gear though, isn't it? I mean, he just tries to get up. It's a hell of a gear to watch, though, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely so. Definitely so. Definitely so. Farm friendly, but like, dude's gonna age twenty years every fight, man. Yeah, because if you're having like, if you're having wars at European and British level, then you're, you're not you're like your career's not gonna. Lie. If especially if you try and go go further than that, you're gonna you know. Well, he had a war with Conway. I don't think he had a war at European level. I think he just got beat up. It wasn't a war, Garcia. He just beat him pillar to post. To be honest, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. But Conway was more of a war because they were both tagging each other. But look at 154 pounds, right? People were talking about Cheeseman going from British to European to world level. I'm going to be very straightforward. Could you imagine him in there with Willie Nelson beats? It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. I think um, Willie Nelson would beat him, though. The, think of what Willie Nelson did to J-Rock. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Now, also, think of J-Rock against Ted. Ted yeah. struggling with Kieran Conway. I can't see him. I can't see it. Too, but J, J Rock too good a boxer. Too good a boxer. Or Tony Harrison or Jamel Charlo. These guys would beat him. They would. And, like, if Sergio Garcia can't, who most people didn't really know who he was before that fight. I did. I kept telling people that he was going to beat Cheesy up and everyone was laughing I didn't have a clue he was. I didn't have a clue he was. It wasn't until you realized that he was uh, part of uh, Sergio Martinez's camp where you were like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I perked up because I knew that he, he was going to have some boxing acumen. I knew his fitness was going to be out, outstanding. I knew that. If you're going to be, if you, you're going to be in, in, in company with someone like that, your fitness is going to be up there. Because for, for Martinez was a fitness fanatic, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one thing about Garcia, we've seen high volume, high octane, good job, good feet, yeah, and he yeah. is hella fit. Hella fit. He can go 12 rounds three times. I think. Martinez was prime. He, he, he got stronger as the fight, fights went on, man. He always got stronger. Yeah. You know, no doubt about that. And Garcia didn't fade against a fighter like Cheeseman, and Cheeseman's a taxing fighter to fight against because he doesn't stop. Yeah. Then one twos, man. He was just crashing in one twos. <laughs> so, but to be fair, I actually think Sergio Garcia is world level, to be honest, which I think he's above European. I think he's dangerous. He is dangerous, but we have to see how dangerous, though, you know. He beat Rabchenko this weekend. What? Unanimous decision. Yeah, but look what Kel Brook did to Rabchenko. Yeah, but Sergio Garcia ain't a puncher. Kel is. That's what I'm saying. At, at that level there, you're going to need something to hold off a Charlo or a, or, or, or a Jarrett Hurd. You're going to need, need a little more in your armory to hold them off. What about 20 punches in a row? Ooh, uh... He reminds me of Calzaghi in a way, Beats. Nah, Calzaghi at his prime could hit, man. It wasn't until Joe's hands st started packing up on him, man. No, I'm not talking about like a prime Calzaghi. I'm talking about Calzaghi with broken hats. Okay. He reminds me of that. Like, but that's still a very dangerous Calzaghi because he could still oh, yeah. beat yeah, 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 yeah. because of volume. And if he has if he has a heart like Calzaghi, he's gonna take some beat. Yeah. Joe had that volume, man. He had a serious cardiovascular, didn't he? A serious cardio. And Garcia reminds me of that. Yeah. Craig Richards versus Andre Sterling. A bit of a bore fest. Sterling. Out of shit. Sterling went down. Yeah, a bit of a bore fest. But um, Craig, Craig don't want to fight Boatsy. He talked his way out of it smartly. I, 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 I didn't have, not, I, did, I, I didn't have, a, I wasn't slamming him for that. He said the Boatsy fight can wait. He wants to gain more. He'd get killed. He would. He's too open. 
yeah, yeah. He, do, he, he doesn't use his jab enough Buatsi to fuck him up. Yeah. Buatsi's yeah. on a different caliber to him. We're looking at Buatsi after 8, 9, 40 to move and on to war level right now we are. Yeah, yeah. As fans. We yeah. think he could have quit himself well. Like, I think he'd beat Jesse Hart right now, mate. Well, time will tell, man. That, that world level could always cause some stumbling blocks, man. Could always do. Especially in that division. That's It's not like he's in a, a crappy division or anything. He's in one of the hardest divisions to be stumbled. I didn't see the Dwayne Sinclair fight. I didn't see that. It was all right. It was all right. Reese Bellotti, I didn't see that one. Same. Okay, look at the opponents there. How do you... Fucking Dwayne Sinclair lost to someone 7 4 Was that guy called Anthony Fox by any chance? Yeah. Yeah. And he lost to someone 7 12 And he lost by six rounds or whatever. Six Can I say something real fast about uh, Anthony Fox? Yeah. He's he's lost to good people and bad people, and he's beaten all right people, and he's actually not bad. Okay. He ain't bad. He ain't terrible. He's kind of like a little bit of a version of Kamil Sokolovsky, if you oh, know what I mean. I get you. One of these, yeah. Probably took a lot of them fights at short notice, perhaps, and maybe a couple of... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've heard that he took fights on literally 12 hours notice, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just trying to get a bit of bread in the house, you know? Well, he he done pretty well against the unbeaten boy. Yeah, he did. Look, it's not the it's not the worst journeyman to lose to. I mean, Harley Bang got <laughs> beat by a guy who was zero on sixteen beats. Yeah. Or yeah. Harley Eubank. Which what was it? Is it Harley Ben? Harley Ben. Harley Ben. Yeah. Yeah, Ben. Harley Ben. Man. Ruth Bellotti. I remember him get he got he, he he lost his title the other yeah he got beaten up got knocked out but um he was fighting someone ten and eleven and four he got a KO though he got a stoppage oh, oh by the way beats love the mini documentary a bit mate quality oh, thank, you. thank you thank you much appreciated trying to put us some quick, some decent quick, um content man you know trying yeah trying. Yeah. It's taxing, isn't it? Yeah. It's taxing. The amount of research you do into this stuff is mind boggling, mate. <laughs> mind boggling. Because I, I do watch some of it and then I go searching for it. And yeah. I find myself nine hours in finding about half of the info you've got. And then, like, two days later, I finally found all of the info you've got. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, fuck me. So I'm doing it from being told what it is and you're doing it from your head. Mad. Yeah. Fair play, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Try and try and try and try and try and try and put it down. Try and hold it down. Arthur Jones, he wasn't bad. Oh, mate, no, 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 no. Arthur's gonna be world champion, right? <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna. Yo, he's fighting this weekend again. Oh, he is. That's that's what. Yeah, this... Eddie Her- Eddie Hearns confirmed that. Uh, it's I don't think it's up on box track, but he's gonna be on the Andre the undercard. So he's going from England. Back over to America and footing on the Andre Undercut. Yeah, that's what they should do with him is keep him busy. Keep him busy. Keep him he, busy. He's a good kid, mate. I spoke to him in DMs. He's a good kid. Lots of fast hands, isn't he? Oh, really fast hands, explosive power, good feet. But look at his left hand. If you're watching that right now, look at how fast that left hand is. It was good, man. I was impressed. I was very impressed. Although, he's a part, although you know, it's only his second fight. His opponent, you know, was... What, what, was his it? opponent was nothing, but his first opponent was actually really good. I hear he didn't look too good in that fight. No, nah, because he was just trading with the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't see the Charles Frankham sh- fight. I didn't see that one. Um, I did see the Shannon Corton fight, and it gave me flesh <sighs> not wanting to support women's boxing because I was watching that girl taking a beating, and I was, I, I was a bit... I wasn't comfortable with it, watching her taking that bit. Like, she shouldn't have been. Like, man, what's she doing in a boxing ring, the girl? She just looked like, not being funny, well, she, she just, no, no speed, no thing, no body, like, no, I'm like, damn, man. 
What's she doing? I haven't seen the beats, right? But Dell told me this, right? And I want you to tell me if this is an accurate assessment so I don't go back and watch it. Did the girl look like she's did one boxer size class down at the, at the local female gym and yeah, decided she, to put gloves on and enter a ring? Or anything, or no, she didn't look up for it at all. She didn't look up. Oh, for it. that's and it was the same with that Romanian woman they threw in there too. She looked like she just finished like dropping her kids off at school. Yeah, like I don't like that. I don't look like I'm all for like Persoon and Taylor Fuente. And Shields and Hammer. I actually like those fights, right? They're not bad fights to watch. You seen the Pursuant Taylor fight. Banger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute banger. A great advocate in terms of the fight for women's sport, that, right? Yeah. But seeing Shannon Courtney beat up on women like that is not good for the sport. And I know people will be like, well, what about when, a, when you see, like, I, I don't know, you see let's say, Lenroy Thomas get tagged up by Joe Joyce. Is that an advocate for the sport of boxing? Well, Lenroy can take that. Yeah. Not a woman who's maybe had like two or three like like jogs, yeah, gone man. into a gym and put on some gloves, and then she's going in there with a girl who's trying to take her head off. It's not the same thing. Lenroy is a Commonwealth champion. Lenroy is a tough world Jamaican boy. I'm going to take two licks. <laughs> All right. I mean, but That's that girl, it, man. No, I was I wasn't with it, man. I wasn't with it. It was like, no, I'm not comfortable watching that. I'm not comfortable. It's getting pounded, man. I mean, wasn't too comfortable. Del boy, he says Rigo's left uppercut was nice when he doubled and tripled it. Ah, it was a thing of beauty. It was a thing of beauty. Austin GT, yeah, what's up, man? Kaka to say, what's up, Del boy? He says Charlo. Has a puncher's arrogance. He's way too in love with his right hand. And as a result, he's not active enough. That's how Tony Harrison edged the last fight. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. He 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 just um he he was he just I think he thought because Harrison's been knocked out a couple of times that he was just gonna fall as soon as he, he went to um strike him, but no, it didn't happen, man. Harrison stayed behind his boxing with his jab. And he got caught out. Thinks he says yeah. Tony the Tiger commented after saying, same old Jamel, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, you know what's happening to him? Because the low level of competition is catching him up now. It's catching him up. It's catching him How up. How long's Jamel been a pro now, Beach? Is it 10 or 11 years? It's a long time, man, and he hasn't stepped up. He hasn't he's, stepped he's up. He's starting in 08 or 09, one or the other. Yeah, it's been a long time. Who's, Who's his best opponent today? Ooh. To the box wreck. <laughs> I'll go to the box wreck here. Not too sure. Give me one second. So it's Jermel I'm looking at, the smaller Charlo, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anthony Mackin, Monguia, as a young man's style. I don't think he can continue that style forever. No, I wouldn't have thought so. I think in a couple of years' time, we won't be talking about Jaime. I don't think we will. I can't see. Right, I've got some opponents for you, Beats. Okay. Austin Trout. Erickson Lubin. Not bad. And Vanas Martirosian. They're not bad names. They're not bad names, but they're not... like, Like, look, compared to... Triple G and Andrade, no, and and um, Jacobs, no, 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 no not, not satisfactory. Well, this is at one fifty four. This is at one fifty four. Like, no, he's too. He he should be challenging himself at one sixty by now. Well, he no, he's not the one at one sixty. The other one is at one sixty. That's Jamal's at one sixty. Well, he's not challenging himself either. He's not fighting him either. I'll tell you who he's fought against now. Give me a second. So his best wins, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, will be. His, in terms of name, his, his controversial win over Matty Karabov. Yeah. Uh, J- Julian Williams. Okay. He good. knocked out Julian Will- Williams in the fifth round. That's good. That, 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 that's good. That is good. That is, that's actually good for him. That's actually- that is good. And a decision win over Austin Schrout. Yeah. He's, listen, he's got some names there, but he, I still think he, I still think he's underachieving. I think he's underachieving. 
him and his brother. I do believe that. And now his next fight is against Brandon Adams. Oh, who, okay. Until recently, he was I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember who Brandon Adams was until like I looked at his box rec, and I remember that he lost to William Monroe Jr. Isn't he unbeaten? No, Brandon Adams? No, he lost to William Monroe Jr. and John Thompson. Oh, he lost to John Thompson. No good sign. Yeah, he lost. No, not a good sign. Because uh, we we both know John Thompson. Like John Thompson's lost to Eric Walker, William Monroe Jr., and Liam Smith knocked him out. And so did Frank Galarza. Yeah. Oh, who is he? Who is Fury is fighting? Who is he fighting again? He's fighting Sam Peters. Hmm. Dodgy, isn't it? I'm not all right with that, mate. I went on the toy raid on my video. Yeah, it's a dodge. It's a bit of a, do- a very dodgy opponent trying to build him up. Look, I said something that might have been a bit too offensive. I said one cousin's fighting a bomb, the other's fighting a corpse. <laughs> it's not right, mate, mate. Like, it's, it's, look, there's questions about Sam Peter's real age, and there has been for a long time. But according to Box Rec, he's 28. I remember 10 years ago he was 28. Yeah. And I think you kind of remember that too. Like, when he fought against Klitschko, he was like 34, 34. Man, That's I, was, what... I want you that kid. When, 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 he, when he fought Dell, what's his name? Dell, what's his name? And um, Jeremy Williams, that was about 238. Nah, I don't think so, Sam. Sam, I don't he, think debu- <laughs> he debuted in 2001 beats, right? I, I started bo- watching boxing like properly the year after in 2002. So he debuted before Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson fought. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Sam. I'm at the, the passport. Where you got it? <laughs> that, that, that's a dodgy passport, man. Sam? Sam? Suspect. Where'd you get your passport? Right? Suspect. I'm not okay with this, mate. I am not okay with it. Sam lost in April to a guy who was 15 and 6. Oh, he did? Yeah, yeah, mate, go look at Sam Peter's record right now. Samuel Peter on box track. You'll see on April he lost to a guy who was 15 and 6. Not if having he, you on. If he knocks Huey out, man, that's just going to be If he knocks Huey out, you know that video that I made? Yeah. I will I will literally play it in my post for you and then start laughing and say, what an idiot I was. Go on, Sam, you legend. <laughs> Sam for Prez 2019. That's some serious chair chair picking, Huey. Not good. That's bad. Yes. That's not Roy Beats. I think it's disgusting. Yes, it's disgusting indeed. MB. What's is... next? Is he going to beat Oliver McCall? <laughs> that, that's what you can fight. Some that's what we can do is fight all men. It's the only only ones he can beat. You know what I mean, like... you know what the sad part is? His two best wins I looked at his record are Fred Cassie. Yes. Okay. Yep. And Sam Sexton. No, Dominic Gwynn. Okay, and Dominic Gwynn, right? And Dominic Gwynn. That's his three best wins, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, think about that. That's his three best wins. Sam Peters, even now, might be his second best win. <laughs> a, a, a very young 38-year-old... Sam Peters might be his best win. Yeah. And they're already billing it as the former world champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, you know what card it's taking place on beats? What's that? The Amir Khan card in Jeddah. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Cynical, very cynical. I mean, Amir Khan, I mean, you, you've got all this time to fight. Well, they're probably paying him a fortune, but then again, why are you just... Seven million. Why don't you just fight Kell Brook? I mean, have a proper fight. Just fight Brook now, man. You mean nothing's going on for Khan? Can, can, can I tell you why? Because he can go over to India, beat the crap out of this kid who has no record, whose best win is against a guy whose name I couldn't even pronounce. Right? Um, go over and beat him. Get seven million. Do, do one or two rounds like you did with Phil Greco. Come back over and then do the Kell. 
listen, I've got a feeling this fight's gonna go wrong for him. I don't know why. I don't know the guy's got a record. I got. Fit. I'm not saying he's gonna lose, but he's gonna embarrass himself. He's gonna embarrass himself. If he goes in, tries to chin this kid, and this ch- kid lands a perfect punch on American. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be laughing in the post boy for an hour? Pete is already laughing at the idea. Just going over to do, he, and he's building this as peace between India and Pakistan <laughs> by going over to the Saudi to Saudi Arabia to beat up on some Indian boy, some Bolton, yeah. some Pakistan lad from Bolton's going to bring peace to India and Pakistan. Yeah, I mean, really, really, he's to do that. Really, yeah. he's the gift that keeps on giving, isn't he? <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit too much, man, when he said that. <laughs> and they're fighting for the pearl belt. <laughs> the pearl necklace. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for the pearl necklace. Oh, man, nah. Listen. <laughs> Le- <laughs> <laughs> A fucking necklace. Oh man, I'm telling you right now. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna go playing romance in the storm with Kel Brook in a year, isn't he? Michael Douglas and Danny DeVito are gonna be like singing Billy Ocean songs in the background. I'm telling you, man, it's unreal. After this, he needs to just sign up to fight my guy. Yeah, he needs to sign up and fight. That's what he needs to do. Sign up to fight Kel Brook and get it done. I'll be honest. I wherever that takes place, if it's in the UK, I will go. I even though I don't care about it anymore, I would just love to see Kel, chocolate brownie Amir Khan into oblivion and end his career. <laughs> even I though I think Kel's getting a bit shot, Amir's more shot. I'll, I'll be neutral. I'll be neutral. I don't care who wins, but I think he should take the fight. Right, you don't care who wins, but who does win? Oh, I think... Uh, oh. If there's no hydration clause... If Khan, Khan ain't going to take it unless he gets the hydration clause. If there's no hydration clause, Kel, Kelbert's a big favourite to stop him. Massive favourite. But I don't know. I can see... Because he can see Khan outboxing him as well. I can see Khan. I can see, I can see scenarios where Khan outboxes him. And then what happens the second Khan gets into the mid range of Kelbrook coming in trying to help? I guess it's great. You get, you get, you know what happens. <laughs> gets, gets and Khan has a habit of leading. Remember against? Do you remember against Canelo when Amir Khan decided to get rid of all of his attributes of speed and stuff by leading with the right against Canelo? Well, it, it was a case of what you're saying, but. If you if you watch it like when when, when the fight starts, he, he's able to box big circles around Canelo, but the ring just started getting smaller on him, man. It just started getting smaller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you know I mean? Canelo was kind of <laughs> he always jumps in needlessly with his chin up, like against Prescott when he came in off that job, came out, and then he leans in forward, overextend and boom down. Same thing happened with Danny. Same thing happened with Canelo with that overhand and the ring was getting smaller. Against Kel, same thing will happen. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Kelly ain't the joke, man. He ain't a joke. Oh, hell no. Like, people question some of his opposition. This guy can back. Well, and he's a big he, boy. He, he's fighting like the last fight, fight, guy he fought was massive. The last guy he fought fought Peter Quillen. He's well, fighting. also, to be fair, the last guy he fought was also like two weeks before in a strip club in Australia getting naked in front of a few ladies for a few extra quid. Michael Zarafa, Magic Mike the Stripper. You know? <laughs> he's a big dude, though. He's a big dude, but beats. We go mad at guys who are like, oh, he's beating up a construction worker. Kelbrook beat up a stripper. Well, he barely beat him up, to be honest. He no, he didn't. He struggled with him, man. Zarafa's a big dude. But he beat the shit out of Rabchenko. Yeah, he beat the crap out of Rabchenko, man. Rabchenko ain't a bad guy, man. 
Yeah, well, Kel looked like he was um, going forward in the in in at one fifty four when he beat Rabchenko, but you know he, he's he's had second thoughts about it, obviously. After Zarafa, man, probably because well, Zarafa, to be fair, isn't really one fifty four. He was coming down. He's fought at one sixty eight and one sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's big, a big dude. Yeah, yeah, he's a big dude, man. It's like you make Kel look small because Kel didn't really look too small comp- next to Triple G. No, he didn't. He didn't. Like, he looked maybe an inch shorter, a little bit smaller, but about the same size across the back, right? Yeah. Whereas, whereas, like, he looked massive in comparison to Rabchenko. All of a sudden, this real fucking middleweight comes down to 154, and all of a sudden, Kel looked like Frankie Gavin next to him. Yo, bro. Modern day broadcast. <laughs> he says, Charlo, clearly juicy. Ooh. Austin GT, I think he smiles at that. Doughboy said, Marco Antonio Rubo, Rubio KO'd Cole two years ago. Thinks, he says, the ref was shite in the Charlo fight. In what way? Was he? Did he do a bad job? I didn't think so. Anything that stood out. But then again, I only watched it the once, just now. Madrimov had a nice KO. Who's Madrimov? Israel Madrimov. Uzbekistani, super welterweight, 3 0. Very yeah. slick for you. Okay. Oh, he's saying, saying Tia, one of MB saying Tiafino Lopez, Mason, Minard. Oh, is that another KO? Yeah, that was a good KO, yeah. Shiz Biz, what's up, man? He says, Rigo fighting Mexican style. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I think Rigo was fighting uh, Cuban with shot legs, though. Yeah. Man. To be honest with you. It, it was exciting. You're still... He was doing like a Cuban style, but just he couldn't actually, you know, move. <laughs> so he was just slipping and stuff. The upper cuts off of the feints and stuff. Beautiful stuff at times. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a good fight to watch, man. But at the age now, I'm not sure how sustainable that is. Anthony Do you think Mar- he can beat Ray Vargas? Yes and no. I have to see the fight. Yes, because he listen. Vargas would be on uh, 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 like under threat. Why one of them left hooks could crack the side of his face open. Le- left hand uppercut hook straight. That punch is fucking f- is one of the best weapons in boxing, man. That left hand is fucking like a surgical fucking instrument, bro. <laughs> it's a dangerous punch. It's a dangerous punch. Del Boy says, people never saw the Amagasa fight. That was a good fight, as was his fight with Cordoba years ago. Yeah? Cordoba fight. Yeah. Right? He has had good fights. He has had good fights, Rigo. Yeah, definitely. Anthony Macken, he still says Harrison beats Charlo. Harrison is just too slick and canny for Charlo. Yeah, yeah. He's claiming injury, though, isn't he? He's claiming injury. MB, mm. old. He needs to make himself more exciting to get on TV. Mm-mm. Yeah. He also needs that Al might Heyman. be a fair point. Yeah. He also needs Al Heyman to pull a couple of strings with the officials. I would like to see the guy continue, man. I don't know what I mean. Like, give, give him another shot, man. Let, let, let the man get up and, and fight on. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, though, boy. I think Riggin Dowd has had some good fights. Donair, Sedja, Cordoba, Amagasa. Yeah, good fights. That Donair fight's a good fight. Very good fight. So yeah. is Amagasa and Cordoba. Anthony Mack, and he says, Rigo was avoided by the likes of Frampton and Quinn. Shame on them. Rigo will never get the big paydays he deserves. I don't know how much the low Loma fight paid him. Weren't that much. Nah, it wasn't. I think he got 250. It's shocking, man. He should never have moved up for that. But maybe he needed the money, man. Maybe he needed He's the probably money. trying to set up his retirement fund, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even be surprised if over the next year we see Rigo have three or four fights, man. Bloody hell, man. 
Right, you see how we have to see how he gets on with this Ray Vargas guy, man. He's a t- Imagine he beats Ray Vargas. Oh, that'd be I mean that that that'd be great for him, man. That'd be great for him if he does that. All the credit to the man if he beats Ray Vargas. Yeah, of course, of but course. Of course. I wonder if he'll do if the other two guys will unify with him though. Navarrete and Roman. We've seen Roman unify. Will he? Would he fight Regan though in a in a unification? Don't know. Yeah, I think the zone put up the bread and expect um, Roman to to get it on, man. Yeah, I think they would. It's Al Heyman who saved um, Santa Cruz from him last time out, man. Del Boy says people need to appreciate Conor Ben for what he is, regardless of how far he goes. He will entertain us, no doubt. Yeah, he's been. Yeah, he, he's been quite exciting, actually. Yeah, it's been quite exciting. I've never watched one of his fights and said boring. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always jumping up and down and laughing. Like he's, like, he's real car crash TV, isn't he? He is, he is, he is. He is, because he's got the reckless thing about him, man. Man. Anthony Mack and Connor would be a beast at 140. I don't think Connor diets enough. Yeah, he likes his food, man. He just looks... Looks just looks too small for 147, man. Could he cut seven pounds though? Because he doesn't look fat at all. He looks very lean. Could he cut seven pounds? Well, there's a question. Maybe you can't do it safely. Mm. Maybe you couldn't do it safely, man. MB, but Rigo boxed on the inside last night to make the fight more enjoyable. He was on Fox Primetime TV. No point boxing on the outside. Well, could it, could, it could affect him, you know, like long term, though. I mean, like, he, he got hurt, man. He got hurt pretty badly and was holding on a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Chris Congo versus Connor Ben says Del Boy. Chris Congo versus Connor Ben. What's happened to sign me up? You 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 you, you sign you, yeah? You think? Oh, Congo? sign me up! I want to see that. That's a good point. What about Congo? They'll punch each other up. What about Congo versus Josh Kelly? When I get Kelly, yeah, it could be interesting. Let's go, boys. We're matchmaking over here. Yeah. Give us the job, Eddie. <laughs> Anthony Macken, he said it before. Conor Ben is box office. And we're going to have many... In- I don't know, boxer, you got to get to world title level to be boxer. In terms of entertainment, I agree. Look, if... If Conor... Conor Ben, the way he fights, yeah, is way more exciting to me than, in all honesty, Chisora versus Spielgun, the other current. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I would rather see Conor Ben versus Chris Congo on the other card than Chisora Spielka on the other card. Hmm. Is that a fair comment? What's that? Is that? Is that again? I would rather see Conor Ben and Chris Congo on the undercard of White Rivas than Spielka versus Chisora. What you have to realize, man, is that Joe Boy has been a servant to British boxing, so you know, and he's a warrior, man. Like come back from that KO, he likes to brawl. Oh, I know that. I know that. I know he's been a servant and he's done a lot of things. And but I would rather see a fight that I'm actually interested. in. It would be a good fight, man. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'd be playing. <laughs> it, Look. Uh, I'd rather see it than Price and Allen as well. Oh, yeah, Price and Allen. Although that is an interesting point just for banter value, isn't it? Yeah, it's a curiosity, isn't it? It's definitely a curiosity. But Spielke yeah. Chisora, like Dell said, is a curiosity point, like double his boxing. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a crossroads for you, you know? Like, if Chisora loses to Spielke, he's done. See, the thing is, man, they're not going to put. Connor and with Chris Congo. It's just not going to happen. Not right now. No title at stake. They haven't got n- no return on the investment or anything. They haven't managed to market him and get any mileage. It's not going to happen right now. Who's the British champion right now at 147? 
British champion. Isn't that um, the Welsh guy, Chris Jenkins? Might be, you know. Yeah, he outpointed um, the boy, the Millwall kid, Johnny Garton. Can't remember what bill it was on. He output. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. Put Chris Jenkins in there against Conor Ben. That'd be interesting. That would be interesting. It would be interesting. Well, Conor Ben was calling out Garton, but um, it didn't. It, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, man. Some good fights out there. We're like Chris Congo getting back in the mix. He's um he he's he's at Miguel's gym. He's from Miguel's gym, South London, isn't it? He's up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Rigan now got five hundred K for the Lomachenko fight things. Oh, was it? I heard two fifty. I heard people reported that his Porsche was 500k, but I, I all I know is that it was a guarantee of 250, and could be added on to 500. I think. Okay. So I don't know if he actually reached that 500 guarantee, like the 500 add-on. So now he got 250 minimum. All right. You got any topics you wanna share with the people for before we get out of here? Uh, not really, mate. I don't. It's been a slow news day. Yeah, it's been a slow day. Oh, they they um put Usyk as the mandatory. That's true. Yeah, uh, he's mandatory for the WBO. Um, he was coming in with that super championship <laughs> status and all that. For Andy, huh? Ruiz. For Andy Ruiz, not just for Andy. Yeah, for Andy Ruiz. For Andy Ruiz, currently, well, he's ac- actually to be fair, he's the mandatory for the winner of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. Yeah. I'll have his style. So, I'm still walking around. I ain't got his belts. <laughs> but yeah, um, he faces the winner of that. Uh, I like it, man, in a way. I mean, do you, are you angry at it in any shape, maker form? No. Because he just bypasses everybody in the heavyweight division. Yeah, but, you know, they, they haven't really been queuing up to, like... Um, to, to make it a situation where I'm upset. Like, I mean, what what's Tom Schwartz been doing? How has he ranked at number two? Listen. Well, he's no longer ranked at number two. They looked like those rankings. Too. Tom Schwartz at number two. I have no problem with Usec being installed as a mandatory. No, I don't. I had a Dillian White. Dillian had his shot, though. Dillian could have fought for the WBO belt just this year, just a couple of days ago. I got no problem. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. He didn't have his chance, man. He had his chance. He didn't take it. I've got no problem with him being pushed over Junior Far. Tyrone Spong. I don't know these guys. Tyson Fury? What's Tyson Fury did? Just what's beat it? the number two in the WBO rankings. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson Fury hasn't won a significant fight since 2015. That's true. Yeah, factually, I can't argue with that. You know, I got no problem, no problem at all. See, the, uh, listen, yes, rank him above. Fury had a shot at AJ. He didn't take the fight either. He didn't take. It. Yeah, all these men could be where Andy Ruiz is right now. Right, right. I got no problem with this, man. If if Usyk is called up to fight AJ, he'll take it on. He'll take it on, and I think he'll go for it. Or if he's called up to fight Andy Ruiz. He beat he beat Ruiz. Be an, I think it's a very interesting style match. I, I don't think it'd be interesting. No? No. I think Usyk's, Usyk struggles with guys who are a bit shorter than him who have very fast hands and have that nip in and out like style. Well, getting to guys who tend to be taller than him, he's able to up jab them and move around them like they're nothing. But his hardest fight was against Breedis, and Andy Ruiz, whilst he's fat, he's got a very similar style to Maris Breedis. Too slow, man. Andy's feet too slow. He's gonna get nowhere against you. He'll go to this. We'll have to. We'll have to wait and see. Got no chance. Got no chance against you, sir. None. 
No, no, Couldn't no. stop him? I think he goes, he's, he think he's tough enough to hang in for the, for the 12, and he's got enough savvy to, st- to stick around for the distance. But just, just the foot speed, man. Foot speed's going to kill him against Usyk. Foot speed's going to kill Andy Ruiz. Going to kill Andy Ruiz all day. Ruiz would be lucky to win a round. Mm. You don't use listen. Ruiz don't have the foot speed of Tony Bellion. I agree. Doesn't have the foot like I'm not being funny yet. Yeah? Look, look, he's a good fighter. He's got certain attributes, but listen, Joshua losing to that guy. I can't tell you. I don't say too much about it because I don't want to look like, oh, you're just hating on Ru. It's catastrophic that you lost to Andy Ruiz. It really is. It really is. Not that he's that bad, but listen, I was listening back to my post-fight video when I was talking about Ruiz versus Parker. And I, I was a compliment. Listen, Ruiz is okay, but man, no. Uh, he, listen, if they don't match him very, very well, won't keep the belt long. Won't keep the belt long. Won't keep the belt long. Won't keep it long, man. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. But, you know, maybe I'm going to be a bit, you know. I I'm, I'm probably am being a bit hard. I probably am being a bit hard. But, it, yes, it was a catastrophic night for Anthony Joshua. There's no way around it. No way around it. You say ca- catastrophic. I think it was landscape altering. Yeah, it was, man. It was, it was, it was. Because it shook the world. It did. It actually shook the world. It did, it did, it did. Everybody... Because not one Foy fan that I know of doesn't know what happened. Listen, man. It's, it is what it is. Anyone can win. Anyone can win. But you know, it 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 it, it really um I, I don't know, man. I, I don't want to say like, I don't want to look, look like I'm hating on Ruiz, but he just doesn't have the foot speed. He like if he fought Tyson Fury, he'd get embarrassed, man. Unless he could land one punch to incapac- incapacitate Ty- Tyson Fury, would just embarrass Andy Ruiz in there. Embarrass. I think Styles make fights very much so. You think he could give Tyson Fury a fight? No, I think he'd get that absolutely annihilated off of the job. And if he... That double fate. You see, yep. he, 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 he didn't put, um, buy into none of Joshua's fates or nothing like that. But Joshua can't faint like Fury, man. Can't faint like Fury. Because yeah. Fury knows how to disguise fates with shots as well. Yeah. Joshua doesn't. Yeah. And yeah. You, you know... You know this very well. The, one of the best masters of all time at disguising shots for feints is Pernell Whitaker. To me, Joshua winning the fight is not good enough, the rematch. You think he needs to knock him out? He needs to look good. He, he actually needs to look good against Andy. He actually needs to look good. And that's very hard to do because Andy Ruiz is a hard opponent to look good against if you're not a really slick boxer. I, I don't even agree with that. Fair enough. I don't think I don't think AJ Style, with how he fights tall as opposed to long, can look good against Andy Ruiz because he's going to get tagged. Well, we'll see how it goes, man. We'll have to see how it goes. Conor Ben versus O'Hara Davis. Who wins right now? Says Anthony Mackin. Uh, O'Hara's fighting on uh, Miguel Vasquez, apparently. O'Hara's too big. No, wait. Is he? I mean, I, O'Hara's a big one for I've seen him sparring. There's a sparring session between them. It's quite good, actually. Good session. Should, might still be on YouTube, you know. He reckons OD. He reckons O'Hara Davis beats Connor. It's good for you. Make it happen. <laughs> Yeah, make it happen, man. Let's go. Give me any fight with Conor Ben in it against any of these British guys who are decent. Make it happen. I'm down. Let's go, man. Let's go. Ah, Scott Scott Fitzy will melt Cheeseman, says Delboy. 
If he puts him Maybe. on the back, if he puts him on the back foot, he's, he stops Cheeseman. Anthony Macca says Ted Cheeseman will go backwards very soon. Just watch and see. If if I I like to see the Scots Fitz and uh, fits um, Cheeseman fight. I like to see it. Against who? Cheeseman? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fight. Fitz is a good little fighter, man. Yeah. Or the Fowler fight. I wouldn't mind seeing fight Fowler or, or, or Scott Fitzy. Any of them guys. Oh boy, he reckons Garcia will beat the dog piss out of Mungia. Yeah, Mungia just, you know, not, not really quality, is he? Anthony Fox beat Luke Blackledge recently. Okay. That's a journeyman, yeah? I guess so. All right, people. I'm going to call this one a day. Been fun talking to you. It has been. It has been. Hopefully, do a couple more this week, man. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. He's making me laugh. He needs to look good. He does. Anthony Mackin records the result would be the same. Okay. Winning not not, just, not good enough, man. And I think he needs to brutalize Andy Ruiz. Yes, he does. 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 Like beat the dog shit out of him. Yes. He needs to make a statement, man. There's I no... hope he can. Joshua can't be fighting just to be second behind Fury and Wilder. He has to be right in the midst of them. And that means making a statement against. Listen, I don't see when when what Fury said about Ruiz, I didn't like some of it. Because he's kind of dismissing Ruiz out of the 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 hierarchy at the top. Now, in terms of ability, I can I get that, and I kind of agree with Tyson Fury. But the facts that he's got three belts, not some lineal shit, three fucking recognized sanctioning body belts, means that he has to be taken serious until the, the belts are relieved. I mean, someone could take them shit from him. You know? Yeah. But the Wilder fight would be interesting with Andy Ruiz. That would be interesting. That would be an interesting fight. It would be. Yeah. Dan Owen, Eddie Hearn did an interview today on IFL saying the rematch is either Cardiff or NY, New York. Christian Lewis, what's up, man? Yeah, we're out of here in a sec. James Foster, he says, Fury has one more world title fight. <sighs> All right, people. I'm out of here, man. Peace, lads. Yeah, man. Peace. Shiz Busy says, never seen Ruiz rock before the AJ fight. Has he ever been tagged? I don't think he has been really tagged, does he? He ain't fought no. I mean, well, he was on the floor against AJ. He was on the floor. Right, How does neck snap back against Parker? That's about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, everyone. We're out of it. Peace. <laughs>